Beautiful weather conditions here locally in southeastern Louisiana. Obviously a much different story though. Just off to the south in the Gulf of Mexico, we are tracking major Hurricane Milton Category 5 system. Here is a look at the high res visible loop just before the sun goes down. That last image there and you can just see that very very tight little pinhole looking eye with that system. Very small looking hurricane, but don't get me wrong. It's a very powerful one, even though it's a smaller system. Even the infrared imagery looks very impressive here as well, showing the very deep convection of the showers and thunderstorms wrapping around that center. You really can't get anything more impressive than this. This is a pretty much a perfect symmetrical looking hurricane capable of doing a lot of damage here, unfortunately, as well. Now, I do want to show you something rather interesting, but a little bit concerning. The aircraft reconnaissance aircraft has currently invested investigating the hurricane right now and they did find a pressure here below 900 millibars. There you can see it popping up 899 millibars and that makes Milton one of the most strongest hurricanes ever recorded, not just in the Gulf of Mexico, but the entire Atlantic Basin here as well. So here's the latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center as of 4 o'clock. It's moving east at 10. The winds up to 180 miles an hour. Pressure 905 millibars. We're going to see that mo more than likely lowered here with the pressure on this next advisory from the Hurricane Center. And here is the latest forecast track continuing to move towards the east and eventually northeast. Expected to weaken down to a Category 4 system. And then just before it makes landfall around the Tampa area, somewhere here on the Florida West Coast, it could be around a Category 3 system, winds of 125 miles an hour here or so as it makes landfall around tomorrow night and then emerging here into the western Atlantic later in the week. So even though it looks like it's going to be weaker by the time it makes landfall, still a very strong storm though for the Florida Peninsula. Hurricane warnings in effect for portions of the uh, northern Yucatan coast there. We also have those hurricane warnings posted here for portions of the Florida west coast as well. And we could be looking at significant storm surge here uh, moving into the Florida west coast, especially where that center comes ashore. We could be looking at around 12 feet or higher of storm surge, especially right around that Tampa Bay coastline area inlet there. And things uh, definitely are not looking good in terms of that. And also the rainfall totals anywhere between five to 10 inches, if not more in some isolated locations with Milton. So a very messy and unfortunate scenario right now for the Florida Peninsula. Meanwhile, we're watching Hurricane Leslie in the Eastern Atlantic, a much weaker storm, thankfully here. This system is expected to weaken to a tropical storm and eventually a tropical depression later in the week as it turns towards the north. Meanwhile, our temperatures here locally into the 80s. We're also looking at plenty of sun. It feels like lower 90s though currently at lakefront. And for the game tonight, really couldn't have asked for a much better forecast than this. At kickoff, 66 degrees, clear skies, mostly clear. It will stay that way throughout the remainder of the game. And also at the end of the game, temperatures could even drop into the upper 50s up there in Kansas City. So we're going to be looking at that front here moving across southeastern Louisiana uh, through tonight. And then behind it, we're looking at mainly clear skies. High pressure is going to be building in this week here as well behind the front. So that's why our weather conditions will continue to remain quiet, calm, and overall sunny here over these next several days. Even as we take you all the way through Thursday, conditions remain very sunny. And you'll see that here on the WDSU first warning seven day forecast. Plenty of sun, high temperatures in the 80s, lows into the 60s, North Shore lows dropping into the 50s.